Hello guys and welcome back to another epic Mo Ninja Girls Let's Play. Today we're going to be um, playing some Mo Ninja Girls. Uh, I think we're just going to continue where we left off with the story. Um, I don't actually know which character this is. Uh, this is embarrassing. Alright, so um, today we're going to be playing some Mo Ninja Girls. I think we're just going to finish the first part of the story. Um, and I think you guys have decided that I'm going to go for Enji, the Tsundere, because I looked up a couple playthroughs of this game, um, and found out what the word, uh, Tsundere meant. Um, I think, I think maybe I even used this already in this playthrough already, maybe in the first episode or something, I said the same direct, but I don't think I knew what it meant. Maybe it was in the script of, um, maybe it was in the script of the, of the game. Man, I hate these notifications when they're, when they're just like, oh, buy this, buy this, get free story. No, I'm not gonna get that. Um, gotcha. Pretty Punishers. Oh no. Um, I'll save that for another episode. Uh, already, already I'm two minutes in, so this is not looking good. Let's try to get through this. Okay, so I'm going for Enju. And this is Akari, I think. Um, it does say that as her name. Uh, so, hmm. Uh, oh, uh, yeah. I'll have to think about it. I don't, I don't even know where we left off at last. I think we were in the classroom talking about, like, what we wanted to do for this semester or something like that. Right! Right! It's a promise! Now I think think back, perhaps I got a little carried away making a reckless promise like that. What promise did I make? Maybe that we'd have fun or something, I don't remember. But that didn't occur to me, occur to me until a little while later. Hey Chad, I'll show you around the school. We're on lunch. We're on our lunch break. When Enju says this to me, all of a sudden, what's your angle? That's not a very nice thing to say. Well, you hate me, don't you? It's not that I hate you. I'm just being duly cautious. Cautious, you say. Anyway, you just transferred here, right? You don't know the layout of the school at all. I thought about inviting John San as well, but he's not here. Maybe some someone else is showing him around. Oh, I see. I guess you're nicer than I thought, huh? D d don't get the wrong idea. I'm just doing my duty as a class representative. I'm not getting the wrong idea. I just complimented you. Just being honest with yourself. Just be honest with yourself and accept it. I, I'm, I'm always honest with myself. Oh well, makes sense. I guess there's no reason for me to refuse her offer. So I think, I think Angie's like the classic tsundere, where she doesn't want to reveal her feelings because she's embarrassed. And I think she has a crush on my character, but I guess we'll just have to see. Oh well, makes sense. I guess there's no reason to refuse her offer. All right, lead the way. Guys, I want to go too. You don't need to be shown around, Akari. You think, you think? I'm still kind of fuzzy where all the different classrooms are. Jesus, her Ak Akari's uh, accent changes so frequently because it's so hard to, uh, hard to do. Mainly, I've been trying to keep the accent on like the. Uh, the classic, uh, New York, uh, Jewish mother kind of thing, like where you say, call, call your mother. That's like the keying phrase to make me sit, to get her accent, but it's very hard. You haven't been going here a year, haven't you? So that's end you. Come on, it doesn't matter, let's go. Lunch break is gonna be over soon. Alright, this is the schoolyard, and over there is the annex. Hmm, I see, I see. You're nodding along, but are you actually listening? Are you gonna remember this? 
I'm listening. I'll remember. More importantly... Wow, look at that. Th wow, look at that. A bunny. There's a bunny, which means there's a breeding house here. What does she mean? A breeding house? You might want to stop her. Yes. Right. Akari! What are you doing there? Get out! But I didn't know we had a breeding house here. Speaking of which, why is... Uh, oops. Speaking of which, why is it unlocked? Yo! Who is this? I need to come up with a new voice unless this is one of the voices that I pre-picked out already. I'm not sure actually, I have no idea. The moment I turn around, I bump into a small girl. She stumbles in the same instant. I catch the hold I catch hold of her by the hand. Sorry, you okay? Uh-huh. Uh -huh. Uh, I, okay, I guess we got, that was the end of that, let's do the next, uh, season, or the next chapter, okay. The girl stutters and reaches for the rabbit on her head. Why is there a rabbit on her head? How can you balance a rabbit on your head? Rabbit? Thank you. Wait, so is the rabbit talking? I'm, I'm assuming the girl's name is Rabbit. Huh? The rabbit just spoke. Oh no, it, it, it was I. I was, I was just doing ventri ventriloquism. Change, change, change voice. Okay, so I have to change the voice. Good afternoon. But your mouth is moving. Um, I'm sorry. Who is this girl? I need to figure out her voice, man. Despite her look, she moves with incredible swiftness. What was that? Who knows? Oh, this is the key to the breeding house. You're right. Did that girl drop it? She did have a rabbit on her head. At any rate, we should lock the door. I'll take it to the teacher's room later. Ugh. Why did you lock the door right in front of my eyes? I thought you were gonna leave me there. Leave me in there. I did think about it. Oh, Jesus. Akari... Akari is getting dunked on by Enju. Hehe, <laughs> you're so mean! Chad, uh, you're not... You're, wait, you're not gonna get mad over that. She's... she's not, because I always... I'm always looking out for her. Yup, she sure is! Okay, this is a weird relationship, but... I respect it, and it seems like they're probably good friends. They just have an odd sort of thing going on. Alright, so we took the key back to the teacher's room. Let's head up to the next place. Come on, we need to hurry. Hey, don't tug on me. Oh, sorry, I got carried away. Hey, don't let go all of a sudden. My foot. Enju took hold of my arm and pulled, then suddenly let go, sending me flying. Basically, it's like a hammer throw. Wait, this is no time to, to, be, to be describing about it. So, she threw me. Hmm. Hmm. I, I can't. I can't dodge her. Uh-oh, because I'm already in the air. At this rate, I'm going to fly right into her chest. Oh, come on. Come on. This is this is the stupidest. Oh, man. I'm I'm so far white knighting this. Obviously, but I don't I obviously don't put my hands out in front cuz that means I'm just going to get a handful of booby and I don't want that right now. I'm trying to go for Enju in this playthrough. Onward into paradise? That just sounds creepy. I'm definitely not going to do that. I'm going to dodge to the side. I'm going to dodge to the side. I'm going to do the gentlemanly thing, because I'm a white knight. I'm not a white knight, but in this playthrough, I'm a, I'm a white knight. I'm a white knight this playthrough. Yes. 
This isn't the time to be thinking things like that. I agree. Ah! Ow! By not crashing her, I in instead crashed into the right into the wall. Oh dear, are you okay? Chad, are you okay? Are you hurt? Do you know who I am? I am who I am. She didn't say that, but I said it. I'm fine. I, I didn't hit my head. Don't shake me. Shake, shake. While Akari shakes me. Oh my gosh, why do you have to say that? I, maybe nobody wears bras in this universe. I don't know. I'm not, I shouldn't say, I shouldn't talk about that. I, I don't have to deal with those kind of problems. Oh. A dull funk rings out from the back of my, back of my head. What? So she just dropped me? What? I'm not trying to, how did I go to, go towards Akari? Was I supposed to land in that girl and knock her over? What? What? I am actually kind of frustrated because now I'm off to the wrong side. Why was I supposed to pick? I thought by dodging her, I thought by dodging her, she would have, like, I wouldn't, I wouldn't have been insulted for being like a, per a pervert or something like that. I think, I thought that's what they were going to do to me. Oh my gosh! I'm so upset right now. I actually want to go back and fix this. I'm already two rungs on the wrong way. I'm too... Ugh! I'm so mad. I am so mad. I'm furious. Okay. I guess I have to hit okay. Fine. Let's do let's do one last chapter. I swear to god, I'm going to I'm going to get I'm going to get Enju. Oh, it's uh Tenge. I know I have a voice for I have a voice for Tenge. And she talks like this. She's a very mature woman. Come on, really, Tenge, knock it off. Oh, but I didn't do anything wrong. Well, Seeing as you've met me, uh, seeing as you've met now, I guess you should inter introduce. This is, uh, introduce you. This is Tenge Yamoda. For what it's worth, she's a third year student on the student council. So that makes you her senpai. Your senpai. Makes, so that makes her your senpai. Yes. I can read. Hello, hello. Just because I'm your senpai doesn't mean you have to be formal around me, okay? Wow, that was really good. I'm really proud of that voice. Right, I'm Chad Chaddington. Pleased to meet you. Ow! It still hurts. Chad, is it? I'll remember it. Wink. Let's be friends, okay? I should, sure. She extends her hand for me to shake. But because Tenge is leaning forward, oh no, oh no, this guy is such a pervert. This man cannot stop looking at people's titties. It needs to be stopped. It needs to be stopped. Ah. No, I'm not reading this. I will not read this. I will not read this. Thank you for calling for calling her me out on this one. And you? You hentai. Which I looked up and means pervert, essentially. I didn't say anything. Well, this is it. Time's almost up. We should head out and eat for eat lunch. Yeah, we've been walking uh, around for a while, actually. Chad, what are you having for lunch? Oh, I didn't bring anything. In that case, let's in that case, let's go to the cafeteria. It should ha be pretty empty by now. Good idea since the co-op uh, shop is uh oh, I'm messing up the voice. Good
good idea since the co-op shop is probably all sold out. You're right. There's almost no time left for lunch break. Shall we hurry? By the time we realized there was about 10 minutes of lunch break left, will we, will we make it in time for lunch? It's fine. Our cafeteria's, our cafeteria's motto is cheap, fast, and average tasting. Wow. I'm so looking forward to lunch. You could at least lie and tell me it tastes good. You're all you're always arguing back, aren't you? There's no time. Let's hurry. Okay. Right, right. We hurry along, walking the opposite direction from everyone else. Now that I think about about it, this isn't bad at all. A regular school life as a student, I finally found out what I wanted. Peaceful days of normality. However, uh oh, who is this? I don't know. Chad, hurry up or we'll leave you behind. For an instant, I sense a murderous intent. No, it must be my imagination. There's no way I could uh, sense anything like that in a place like this. All right, all right, I'm coming. What was it? Something bothering you? No, my mistake probably. Really? Hey, come on, let's go! Alright, alright, I'm coming. So I, I don't know who that was. I honestly, I wrote down all these names, and I had voices for most of them. Some of them are harder, because I don't remember what they look like. But I have voices for all of them, and it's bothering that I don't have the voices down. This is going to be a long episode. I apologize. Before we walk off, I want to look back once more, but instead, I shake my head and follow Kari and Enchu. Is that the end of the first day? So, what on earth is, is this exactly? Well... We're going to do a next episode preview. You and I. No way. I'm leaving. Aw, being hated so much makes me feel even more excited, you know? I don't even know what you're talking about. Alright, seriously now. Let's do the episode... The, do the next episode preview. The morning parts... The ne... Uh, sorry. The... The morning parts end safe and sound, though as you can see, Chad seems to have a lot of problems of his own. He just... what problems? He just needs to stop staring down people's cleavage. Like a fucking pervert. I'm, I need to edit that out. But he is. Ah! I just wish he wouldn't cause so much... I just wish he wouldn't cause so much trouble. Chad does his best to f fit in with everyday life. However, he is followed by a sinister shadow. I get the feeling that things are going to get hectic soon. But we'll leave that for another time. For now, look forward to seeing Chad struggle. Struggle to not look down girls' shirts. I'll be having some fun with him too. He he he. Ha ha ha. Ha ha ha. I'm gonna stop. That's creepy. I'm sorry. I'm sorry that you had to listen to that. Whoa. Whoa, that's a creepy smile. This time things ended without much excitement. But it was first. the first episode. So forgive us, okay? That's so metafiction, Tenge. Well, chapter two, what I've always wanted, is the afternoon part. See you next time. I wonder if this really counts as a next episode preview. Alright, and that's the end of the episode. I will not be um, doing another one, because this is too long um, as it is. Although I am a little bit hooked now. 
hope hopefully you are too because honestly i don't think that i'm gonna uh gain a new audience with this one uh we'll see i don't know it's an interesting uh character development we got a new character we got this girl tange then we got a uh, spicy new girl and the and the um and the rabbit ventur ventriloquist girl uh maybe that's mew i don't know and john thank goodness john was no longer not not here to be seen today um so yeah that's pretty much it uh next episode we will um check out the uh i actually don't know no next episode i think we're going to go speed through introductions we're gonna read the story we're gonna do a ninja fight and maybe we'll do gotcha i don't know what that is but we'll we'll check it out also i want to see my status i am really upset that my intimacy level that sounds so gross but that's what they call it in this game my intimacy level is not closer with enju i tried my best i thought i was doing the right thing to do i just need to stop relying on these old world um these old world like world views and go with the flow of the uh go with the flow of the, um, the anime. This is so bizarre, and it's so hard for me not to, <sighs> and some, some of these things are not that obvious, like, I had no idea that I was supposed to bounce into her boobs, I guess. I don't, I don't think that was the right choice, but I don't know. I have no idea. This is upsetting. Well, now we'll be on to season two. There's a bunch of these things. Sorry, I can't get out of this. All complete. Oh, I need to complete. Oh, I, I guess I can go back and try uh, different sweet endings once I finish the story, I guess. Huh. And I can change the season. Alright, that's enough. I'm sorry, I, th I put you through another 20 minute episode again. Um, but, hey, congratulations, you made it to the end. You wasted uh, 20 something min minutes of your day, almost 25 minutes of your day. I apologize for that. I will not be trying to do this again. But, I have... A problem where I get in too invested into this story and it makes me upset that I was supposed to do something immoral anyway that's it I'm gonna stop it here before I just keep talking okay that's it that's it bye bye I'm done I'm done